Perhaps the most important thing a time tracking application can do for you is accurately capture how you use your time. And that's more difficult than you think. Applications that require you to go and manually push a button or throw a switch often are inaccurate because as humans, we get sidetracked, we forget what we're doing, and we just don't keep accurate time records. With timing, that's never a problem because the application is watching how you use your Mac and keeps exact records of how you do so. So if you go from Safari to Keynote, it's going to know that. You just can't underestimate how much more useful the data is when it's captured automatically. I'm gonna go over to the Review tab in Timing, and you can see this timeline view across the top of the screen. And this is the place where it shows you that data collection. For instance, as you scroll across it, you can see it'll give you very specific data. For instance, at 9.49, I was using Keynote working on the results presentation. Now that data has been tracked to the Office project, but if I want, I can recategorize that very easily. And I'm going to show you how to do that in video three that has a bunch of workflows for adding new time entries. Looking at the bottom portion of Timing's review pane, you've got a bunch of additional tools here that not only report to you how you're using your time, but also let you easily recategorize that time. I explained this in video one, for instance, if I spend time on Daring Fireball and I want to apply that to my writing project, I just drag it over and now I know that I spent six minutes on the writing project. That works for all of these fields. Websites show you different websites that you've visited through your web browser. Application is those applications you've been working in. Keywords may be the most powerful index because they're auto-generated. Timing looks at all of the words it finds in your activity titles and paths and shows them under keywords. If you use a client name, for example, a keyword is a great way to make sure all of that time gets indexed correctly. And then paths are looking at various places on your drive that you're working in. For instance, if you're working out of the Daniel folder, maybe that applies to a specific project. Now thus far, all of the applications I've been doing have been one-time applications. For instance, if I'm working in mail and I want to apply that to communications, I'll just drag it over to communications and I've applied it. But what if I want that to be a permanent connection? Every time I work in mail, it's attached to communications. To do that, I just need to drag it over with the option key. So I'm going to tap the option key, drag it over to, me, uh, to communications and let go of it. And now going forward, anything in mail is going to automatically be applied to the communications project. Now you can create those permanent rules with the option drag in any one of these four categories, be it a website, a path, a keyword, or an application. If you often find yourself at the same website, application, path, or even keyword uh, with the same type of project, go ahead and do that option drag so you create that link so timing can automatically categorize that time for you going forward. These are just a few of the ways that you can capture and categorize your data using timing.